Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and uh, we are back. It's time to go into the Shadow Temple. As Navi says here, you have to actually play the Nocturne of Shadow in order to get up into the Shadow Temple, so don't forget that if you're having trouble remembering how to get back over here. It's been a while since we've been here and actually opened the door, but... Now it is time to proceed into the Shadow Temple Classic Quest. Yeah. And you may notice that there weren't any of those weird links anymore. I've done away with, with that system just because... I didn't really like the way that it worked. I mean, it ended up being me having a bunch of little playlists, like one for each dungeon, and then having a bunch of links to different ones. And as you can see here, the shadow will yield only to one with the Eye of Truth handed down in Kakariko Village. Now with the uh, Lens of Truth, we can see that there's actually a an opening there. And a couple of these things are sort of weird. You'll notice that there's these skull platforms up here. Well, you look at them with the Eye of Truth, and they are all gone except for one. So what you need to do is take this thing. Make my beak face the Skull of Truth. The alternative is descent to deepest darkness. Interesting at the bottom of that, uh... The end of that dialogue didn't have a square touch triangle, it's weird. But, uh, anyway, what you have to do is actually turn this thing around so that it's pointing towards the one that's actually there. Just uh... Oh, wait, what? I wasn't done! That's not fair! Dude, I knew what I was doing. I was trying to show him something. Asshole. Did they turn it all the way back? Yeah, I know. And they turned it all the way back. Alright, well, none of that. Dude! I didn't know it did that. I've never actually taken that long to get it to point at the right one before. But yeah, there it is. And it actually changes each time. Apparently, because now it's in a different place. They've never actually fallen in that pit before. I didn't know you could do that. Interesting. Anyway, point it at the one that's actually there. And there we go! Once you give it a second to let it know that you're finished, it will open up an opening over there, which we can't get to. There is no way we can jump that far. Not even with, like, side jumping or anything. I don't think there's any way to get over there. But using the Eye of Truth, we can look around and see... Or, excuse me, the Lens of Truth, that one of these is not actually here. So that's where we're going to head next. We're going to come back here when we have this dungeon special item. Now, let's see. Oh, man. One who gains the Eye of Truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. Okay. That's nice. Huh. Shadow Temple. Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Interesting. Somebody's got a bit of an issue, I think. Alright, so there's a door there. Yeah, I know. I believe this is where we're supposed to go. We have an undead. Or a re-dead in here. Yeah! One jump attack, he goes down. I think we have a bat about to swipe into us. Where is he? Where'd he go? Gotcha! There's two up there. Just saw another one. Any more? Nope! Wait, something happened. Come on, give me the dungeon map. I'm thinking that might be what this is, I'm not sure. I don't know, I always like to get the map first so I can get a feel for how the dungeon goes. Kind of you take a look at it, you know? Figure out where things are going. Alright, we got the map! And there's an arrow going through it, very nice. Let's have a look, see. Well, apparently it's not a very big temple. You see, there's one, there's two big rooms that actually encompass two floors, you can see them there. And then the first two floors are actually fairly small. And the, it's the most of it is on the third and fourth basements. This entire temple is underground. There's no floors; it's all basements. So. Let's pick up the resources here. Why not, right? Or we head back out into the temple. I actually don't mind the Shadow Temple. I think it's easier than the Water Temple. Dude, you just said that like twice. What is hidden in the darkness? Tricks of ill will. You can't see the way forward. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, dude, you just said that. Why does it keep triggering that? It's weird. It usually only does that once. I'm just double checking these rooms to make sure that there are no openings in the walls, which I am missing. I don't believe there are, so I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to the next room. And I'm fairly sure that whenever you go through a door, you're gonna lose the lens of truth. We don't need it for in here in any way. Oh, he must be behind me, so you can't see him. Dude, get off of me. 
Spin attack! And here, the big orange sword will be continuing to be useful. But occasionally, I think you can get a blow through that guy. Dude, get off of me. Why is he having like an infinite thing with dirt around him? Oh, he's still digging in. He's out of here, dude. Alright, we gotta get grabbed again to get him to come back out. There he comes. Oh, there's another hand! No, get away from me! Oh, that was easy. Took like four hits, I think. Alright, what was that gonna give us? The compass? That can't already be the way. The, the useful item for this dungeon yet. Which is an item I've actually successfully not talked about. Like, I had trouble like not mentioning the long shot before we got it. But the item we're gonna get in this dungeon, I haven't had to deal with at all yet. Oh, wow, that's it! You got the hover boots! With these mysterious boots, you can hover above the ground. The downside? No traction. You can even use these to walk for short periods where there is no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots. Oh, alright, well. I didn't know you got them this early in the temple. Let's go ahead and put them on. Thankfully, with these, we don't have to constantly switch back and forth, because they're fairly useful, though we can just use them in the whole temple. But you'll notice that Link sort of slides around when he's wearing them. You sort of, like, you can make him run backwards and do the moonwalk. It's kind of cool. There's some neat tricks that you can do with the hover boots to, like, put them on and off and weird stuff like that. I've never actually got anything like that to work effectively, so I kind of just wear them all the time. Dude, we already know that. I think they might give that to you if you're not using the Lens of Truth, but, like, if I already know where I'm going, I'm not going to have it. It's, it's really, really easy to remember where things are. Now, wow, I guess that's where we're going to head next, is to cross that, uh, opening right over there. Because what we needed to get over to that is the hover boots. And here's a good demonstration. Wait, what did that sign say? I didn't know there was a sign in here. Only one who has sacred feet can cross the Valley of the Dead. That would be this uh, hover boots here. And you just grab right onto the edge. It's neat. See, they sort of give you like a platform to stand on for a second or two. And it's a... Uh, it doesn't last that long, but it's enough that you can jump a lot farther than if you're wearing any other set of boots. Okay, now let's see what's going on down here. I'm gonna go ahead and bomb him just to get him out of our way. I don't want to have to deal with that. Did I get him? Nope. Alright, let's move a little closer. Oh! Okay, apparently that just shut him up. Okay, let's see. So, two of these are not actually here. Let's see where this one goes. Got another couple of redeads in here. If you can get a jump attack, you can kill him in one go, so... It's worth it to line that up. And with how long the Vigoron sword is, it's fairly easy to hit him without them being able to freeze you. And I think that this is just going to be the compass here, which is nice to have. Now, I haven't seen any Skulltillos yet in this temple, and I'm not sure how many there are, actually. So I guess we're just going to have to find out as we go, and see if we can find all of them just by playing through. Hopefully I will be able to. Alright, and there's the compass. Now let's uh, take a look at our map again. We've got a boss on the bottom floor. Oh man, look at all those chests. Gosh, there's easily ten, there's easily ten more chests in this temple. Gosh. Oh man, I hope that most of those aren't small keys. I know that there are some chests in this temple that they put in that are invisible. So having the compass will make things a bit easier for us. And I believe this is where we want to go next. Ah, uh, I remember this. Now, let's see. There's another room back in there that I think we want to look at first. I think that this wall that it's next to isn't actually uh, an invisible wall. It's just a bombable wall. So, oh man, we need a small key to get in there. Well, have we missed any chests recently? Okay, well, there's a chest in that room that we were just in. Let's go back over there and get that. That's probably going to be the small key that we need. Now in here, it's one of these, uh, silver rupee puzzles. Oh man, I almost said gem. You're kidding me, after all that time I spent playing Spyro saying rupee when I was supposed to say gem, now I get back on uh, Zelda and I start saying gems. <sighs> Alright, there's three. There's usually five in these puzzles, so here's a fourth one. And the good thing about hover boots is that if you get to an area where there's, uh, no, uh, what's it called? No floor? Your hover boots will activate and it'll let you know that there's something there. And sometimes you can actually get back in time to uh, not fall in the trap that would have otherwise ensnared you. If I can get out of the way of these things. Yep, alright. Get in here and get our small key. 
All right, We're making quick work of this temple. Let's proceed right back out the door we came in, because I don't think there are any other doors in that room. Well, actually, there's a door that there's a hole in the floor I saw, so I'm not sure if that's where we want to go just yet. But I don't like jumping into holes because I don't. I'm not ever sure if I can get back out of them. And I think that one back there may have just been a. Uh... Oh, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Get out of here. Give me some hearts. Dude. Give me one heart. Oh well. Dude! Get the heart. That is the thing with these boots, is that you do time to, to sort of slide around. You, you lose your fine tuning. Man, look how close I am to him. I can't believe he didn't like spin around and get me. There's another heart for us. Nice. And, oh, wow. Well. Eh, me. Dude, get out of here. I'm gonna grenade him in the next video. See you guys soon.